All right, everybody, this is going to be a different kind of video for me. There's no news or updates today. We're not theorizing about anything. This is really going to be just a retrospective type video for me. Um, it's been on my mind a little bit, but it didn't actually hit me until I saw this tweet. And then I actually thought about it. <laughs> I made this response. And I'm like, I miss this. I miss all of this. So if you want to reminisce with me for a little bit, sit down. If you're playing a video game in the background, you can do that. <laughs> Whatever you have to do, uh, hang out with me for a moment and just hear what I have to say. As one of the OGs of the Arrowverse community on YouTube, one of the best fandom communities we've ever had on this site, I want to talk to you guys about how I'm feeling and what things look like now for me. And I think everybody could like go down in the comments. I want to hear what everybody has to say about this. So the tweet was, which CW Arrowverse show do you miss the most? And it's a very common tweet. You see these tweets all the time, like, which one would you bring back, blah, blah, blah. This tweet hit me a little different because I thought about it and I was like, I'm going to come up with a funny answer. How can I be funny about saying Arrow or The Flash or Black Lightning or Supergirl, whatever? How can I be funny about it? And the more I thought about it, I was like, I don't want to be funny about this because I miss everything about the Arrowverse, all of it, including Legends, which I wasn't really watching at the end, including Batwoman, which I think had some stumbles. I still miss all of it. I miss the era of having too many things to watch on Destination TV or like network television. I miss all of it across the board. I would give almost anything just to have any of the shows from the Arrowverse back on the air every single week so we could talk about it, theorize about it. So basically that's what my answer was, all of them. I also want to say the death of the Arrowverse was honestly the death of superhero TV. And I still 100% stand by that statement. I stand by that. I thought about it. I've said it to a few people. We don't have anything like the Arrowverse on TV now. And we won't have anything like the Arrowverse on network TV ever again, I don't think. I just don't think it's possible. Greg Berlanti and all the people behind the Arrowverse were masters of creating a superhero world with a fraction of the funds that these larger movies have, with a fraction of the funds that like the streaming shows have. They were able to do that and take us away into another world a few hours every single week. I came back to YouTube I had ended my YouTube career in 2009. I walked away from YouTube, started doing other stuff, was, was working on my DJing stuff outside in the, in the real world, um, live streaming, things like that. I'd left YouTube pretty much altogether. Came back in 2014 because of The Flash and, and Arrow. I had no idea what I was getting into when the Arrowverse expanded. I had no idea. But those shows brought me back. I came back here to do my reviews. I came back here to do my previews my rant and previews, my rant and reviews. It expanded into the after party, which we started doing, Paige and I started doing shortly after. All of that was something that I had fun doing, coming in, talking with everybody, all of the shared excitement we had, all of the anger we had about the episodes, all of the confusion, all of the complaints about the costumes, chin strap, no chin strap, uh, the issues with season four of Arrow, all of these things, regardless of how annoying it might have been at the time or how much we loved it at the time, I just miss all of that. I truly do. I miss weeks where you had to like decide what you were going to talk about because so much was on. There was a time when I think we had six shows on at the same time that I was trying to juggle reviews of. Paigey was doing reviews and trailer previews. We were doing the after party. It was just Weeks where I, I literally could not catch my breath. My head was spinning, trying to come up with enough time and space to, to talk about all of the shows to the point where I had to like pick and choose which shows I was going to talk about because there was just too many of them. And now we have nothing. Now there's nothing on. And I'm not just talking about Arrowverse. Like I said, the death of superhero TV. Yes, we have the streaming shows, but you guys have to admit it doesn't hit the same as it did with the Arrowverse. That destination, be there at 8 o'clock for this show. Be there at 9 o'clock afterwards for this show. And then get prepared to watch us review them 
two hours after the shows come out and then have another review of the next morning of the other show and then live stream that night so we could talk about it. Because mul- there was multiple after parties for a while. I was doing live streams almost two or three times a week to talk about Arrow and Flash and stuff like that. It's just not the same. And it makes me sad because we don't even have like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We don't have Cloak and Dagger. Um, we don't have Gotham. We don't We don't have any of these shows anymore because the the studios have decided to take all of that away from us and lock it behind a paywall on streaming services and fumble the bag so many times by doing that. And I look at this and I'm like, man, I, I miss this. I miss this. I miss talking about this every week, new stuff every single week. Even in the downtime, Canada Graphs posting promo pictures from behind the scenes, things leaking out, the comic conventions where they preview the upcoming seasons, costume reveals. Looking back at this, we had it all. We had it all. Like, there is stuff that the Arrowverse did that we'll never, ever see in live action. They did it. It will never, even with James Gunn's universe, it'll never be done in live action. The Arrowverse did it for us. Love it or hate it, cheesy or not, regardless of how you feel about it, there are things that they brought to us as fans that we'll never see. They were making movies every season for the last few seasons with all of these shows crossing over together to give us comic book event movies. And I don't think it actually, I mean, I love that stuff. But until I started really thinking about it, we're never going to see anything like that ever again. We're never going to get that. Because what DC is doing now with their movies and their TV show tie-ins, that's not going to be the same as like the Arrowverse stuff. Marvel's never really been like the Arrowverse, so I never expected them to be. But looking at DC, it, it'll never be like the Arrowverse. And I know we still have Superman and Lois. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping that I can watch it. By then, I hope that that my market has you know, the CW back again. But I was thinking like Paige and I behind the scenes, I don't think he'll care if I mention any of this because he doesn't really give a fuck <laughs> or the other. But behind the scenes, I remember talking about like how we're going to do it. What are you going to review first? What are you reviewing second? Let's not do our reviews at the same time. You know, looking at the DC TV show, Ben, what is he talking about? What kind of thumbnails and titles is he, what is he spoiling this week from the shows? Looking at Boba Talks, but he was still reviewing this stuff. All the different channels that were making videos while the Arrowverse was out. Looking back at them and seeing where they are now, some of them are still thriving, doing different stuff. Some some of them have changed their content altogether. Like over here, you've obviously had to do it. Um, I've tried to find within myself the same drive to make content as I did when the Arrowverse was on. You know what I mean? Like you dig down inside and you're like, what do I want to talk about? What do I want to do? I don't want to be a news channel. I've already established that. I completely reject that. I don't mind talking about like big stories or things that interest me, but I can't do what some of these other guys have done where they turn their channels into like breaking news channels about DC content. I, that never really interested me only because I don't like every single thing that comes out of DC. So I kind of really just like, I'm a very focused individual and the Arrowverse was my focus. So I can't do that. I know that bums people out, but there's people that are doing it really good. Shout out to Boba. Boba, his channel has a lot of updates. He's really done some good shit over there. Shout out to Boba for that. Pagey's still making like Arrowverse related content, but his is more like essay style stuff. I don't do that. You guys know I don't do that. I don't get down with the essay stuff. I'm, I like to talk about things organically where I just get on camera and, and pour my heart out (laughs) and you can't do that when there's nothing coming out, which is why this hit me so hard. I miss that. I've had several comments where people like, I miss what your channel was. I don't know how to get back to this for me. I don't. That's the confusing part. I still love doing the after party and the live streams. Don't get me wrong. I love doing those. But when it comes to like like timely content, I just don't know. Maybe when the boys comes back out, maybe I'll be able to get into that and, and do those kinds of videos again. I just, I feel so sad about this. And this tweet brought me down a little bit. So I'm hoping that you guys can, I don't know, 
uh, like change things around for me in the comment section. I'm hoping to come back and read comments where people feel the same way I feel, or if you don't give some sort of perspective. So I can kind of see how, where everybody's at in all of this. I just, I miss this. I miss this. And the thing is, we're in we're at the point now where the shows would be wrapping up for their seasons. And we'd be going into the summer talking about what we're going to see at conventions. And then when we're going to start getting promos in the fall. And for me, the one shiny spot this year is Superman and Lois. And I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I can't wait to come back and do my reviews of Superman and Lois. Probably trailer reviews of Superman and Lois. I'm, I'm going to do everything I can content-wise with Superman and Lois to make that final thing that we love feel really special at the end. This just doesn't, things just aren't the same on YouTube. They're just not. And I really, really miss this. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe I'm just, uh, well, I know I'm an old fuddy duddy, but maybe, maybe I'm thinking too much about it. Maybe it's hitting me in a different way. But uh, when I think about the OG stuff of, of the Arrowverse, I feel like there was a few of us that were really doing it every single week. And, um, you know, it just, I wonder if everybody else misses it as much as I do. 